Welcome back. Last week, uh, I spent two days on uh, Cabinet Gorge Reservoir, and uh, it's, uh, day two, uh, I fished the, I'll call it the eastern part of the, of the lake, and uh, I caught, I ended up with a double digit limit, which for me is good. Um, there were, I had a lot of quality fish go after that top water. I just couldn't get any of them in the boat. <clears throat> so I decided I'm going to do one more video in Montana this year. I'm going to go back to Cabinet Gorge tomorrow. And um, I, I'm uh, going to fish that same water. My plan is uh, top water. It, it, the wind's supposed to blow. I looked at the weather. It's supposed to be like 20 mile an hour winds tomorrow. So the top water's, you know, only going to work as long as we don't have waves. And I got a feeling we're going to have waves. But I'll, in between or in early in the morning when I first get there, I'm going to try to do top water. Um, I'm going to put a spinner bait on because I don't throw the spinner bait after spring usually, but with with wind and you know rough water and all those weeds even though the lake is clear i think the spinner bait might work so i'm going to try that um i'm going to have the drop shot on and uh, that's that's going to be about it top water spinner bait drop shot and i'm just going to go for one more one more shot and see if i can have a decent day um, <clears throat> that'll be my last uh, trip to Montana for the year. So um, I'll see you out there in the morning. I'm going to launch. It's called Bull River Boat Launch. And uh, I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, I'm out on Cabinet Gorge for a third time. Um, right now the wind's not blowing. But I looked at the weather yesterday uh, for Sandpoint. It was, it's going to be 20 mile an hour winds. But I'm not fishing Sandpoint. When I left Sandpoint, it was blowing. The trees were bending. I got here. I'm an hour east. I think it's coming. So I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm going to throw top water until the wind starts blowing. If it gets too rough for top water, then I'm going to switch up. I've actually got a spinner bait on. Um, you know, I usually only throw that in the spring, but these are really good conditions for a spinner bait if the wind's blowing hard. The water's clear. I'm not real confident with clear water and a spinnerbait, but if it's blowing hard enough, I think it can work. And I can fish it right in these weeds, and there's a lot of weeds on this place. So I'm going to start right over here where I where I uh, caught some topwater fish. I think it was last uh, Thursday. Um, all right, let's get started. The wind showed up. It took uh, about a half an hour but I think it's gonna start right now. I can feel it. I threw that, uh, I threw that top water for half an hour. I threw the walking bait and then I, oh, hang on a minute. Threw the walking bait and then I threw the, um, the popper, didn't get a sniff, nothing. So I can put this away. I was gonna use the net. So now I'm drop shotting out here to see if there's even fish here. The, the other day, last Thursday, I couldn't keep them off that top water bait. It's unbelievable. Okay, so I spent an hour and a half on that first spot. Didn't see a fish, didn't get a bite, didn't catch a fish. I made one cast to this spot. I just had one boil on it. So I'll keep this running for a second. Maybe I hit a school. I was here last Thursday, that spot back there, I couldn't keep them from hitting this top water bait. Today, it's unbelievable, just gone. That's why uh, this is so addicting. If it was easy every time, it would probably get boring. My first fish. <laughs> that fish is probably, well, let's see, that worm is four and a half inches. Oh, come on, buddy. So he's uh, five, five inches. I got one on the, uh, on the, uh, oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> on the, uh, what do you call? 
Oh man, hold on. Let me get this fish before he gets me. Um, I'm throwing the the sinking minnow because, geez, will you look at this? <laughs> I'm throwing the sinking minnow because uh, I noticed I was reeling in my drop shot really fast and one came out of the weeds. I'll weigh him real quick before he... I don't have the big camera set up, but I'm gonna set it up because uh, I've only been throwing this thing about uh, less than 10 minutes and I got one and I've been fishing two hours. So um, this is gonna be my one pound, eight ounces. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna let you go right now, pal, I swear. Look, there you go. Ugh. That happened quick. Oh. Okay, so first fish of the day, one pound, eight ounces. What happened was I uh, saw like a reaction thing. I dropped my drop shot in the weed uh, on the edge of the weeds and I reeled in real fast and he came one came about that size out of the weeds he didn't grab it but he was there the whole time till I you know made him react this is a good reaction lure so I'm switching to this I've got the um, spinner bait on but I think I'm gonna do this I'm, I'm not going in the weeds I'm fishing kind of around the edges and like I say I just started and got one so I'm gonna set the big camera up and I'm gonna use this for a while okay well that last spot I caught that one fish and it was on my these are my first or second cast with the uh, sinking minnow didn't get another bite so now I'm moving further east and this area here had a lot of fish in it and uh, I had a lot of them hit this top water. I only got, well, I think one in the boat. But anyway, I'm gonna give it a shot here. Wind's blowing. Not bad, bad, but it's blowing enough that uh, this, they, they may not see this top water bait, but I'm gonna try it for a little while. Oh, I got one strip and drag. <laughs> Now that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but compared to what I've been catching, oh yeah, this ain't a bass. No way. Oh my God. What is it? It's not a bass. It is a, I'll bet it's a pike. It's, a, oh, it's a giant pike. Yeah. Man, I don't want to lose my lure. This is going to be tough. I had my net out. Let's see if I can do this. Ready? Oh, he saw it. Damn it. Oh. Watch what he does to my net. Not my camera. Not my camera, pal. Don't you do it. Oh, I got another one. Oh, these are pike. I got another pike strip in my drag. <laughs> oh, man. Well, anybody out there who's a pike fisherman, I found a pretty good pike spot. Oh, he's got me in the weeds. This could be tough. Oh, he's right there. Oh, I might be able to get, get the whole thing here with the net. Or not. Well, I tell you, they know, they know that net. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I got a hole in the net. I got another pike. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, if I was a pike fisherman, I would be having one hell of a day. Oh, he's got me in the weeds. Okay, I'm not gonna let him get away. I'm gonna... Man, oh man. I tell you what, the pike love this lure. And there's a lot of them in here. 
Oh, he's deeper than the other guy. I'm not gonna be able to get him out. Damn. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he got loose. I think he got loose. Oh, that's okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> well, I got my second keeper. And he's a decent fish, actually. He's a decent fish. Yeah, well, for what I've been catching, I've been catching big pike. <laughs> Come here, buddy. This will be my second keeper if I can get him in the boat. Come here. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, he's he's a keeper. He's not big, but man, after those pike, <laughs> nothing's going to look big. Maybe I'll set up the camera, the big camera. I, I took it down. I just just haven't been catching any bass. But uh, that's number two. So I think I'll set it up and just stay in this area. Let's see how much this guy. One and three quarters is my guess. Because that other one was one and a half. He feels a little bit bigger. One, oh, he's smaller, one six. Yep, he's smaller, one six. It's just been so long. I'm just not catching anything, man. But it's all right. I got time. I'll set the big camera up now. That's my second one, one six. Too bad those pike weren't bass. <laughs> with them suggestion if you ever have the opportunity to spend a day on the lake battling 20 mile an hour winds so you might catch a five pound five fish limit stay in bed this is a good fish this is the biggest one I've had today biggest bass well <laughs> I'm assuming it's a bass this would be number four and I'm gonna tell you something I got a pro oh my god oh my god look at this fish <laughs> this might be a six pounder where's my net i don't have my net okay all right all right john just take it easy come on come on oh jeez 
How am I gonna get him? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. All right, he's, he's not a six, but he's a four. Look at that guy. You know, I've, I've caught so many small ones. <laughs> when I saw him, <laughs> he looked so big. I think that's a four pounder though. That's uh, too bad I don't have the big camera. I'm, I, I'm having some issues. I've got a problem with either my starter battery or my alternator. And I had to make a run back here because uh, I didn't want to be too far from the ramp because I was down to like 10 and a half volts and it barely started. And we'll talk about that another time. Let's just see what he weighs. Come on, make a fool out of me. It's gotta, oh, it's gotta be four pounds. Stop. Oh my God, come on. Sorry, buddy. I'm not buying it. Three, four? Come on. That can't be. That fish is only three pounds? Oh my god. Yeah, you did make a fool out of me, pal. <laughs> All right. You know, it's been so long. All right. See you, buddy. I'm so used to catching these one pounders. That thing looked like a giant. I can't believe that was only three pounds, four ounces. I gotta trust the scale. That's why I need one more for a limit. And uh, I'm just nervous. I'm nervous about my boat starting and getting me back to the ramp and in this wind that, you know, just making me nervous. But let's keep going. I'll set the big camera up. Because this wind is really starting to wear me out. That's another quality fish. I ain't even gonna try to guess the weight. Come here, buddy. You're my limit. You're my limit. Come here. Come here. I got gotcha. you. I think I'm gonna call here. <laughs> I think. 
I got a call of one two, and this guy has got to be one five. <laughs> no, he's he's pulling. Oh, these guys embarrass me. They make fools out of me. Yeah, he's yeah, he's more than one two. <laughs> He's 1-8. Come here, buddy. 1-6. Uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Uh. I shouldn't even guess. Just put him on the scale. Wait. I got to call out a 1-2. Hang on, buddy. Good fish. <laughs> One five. <laughs> nah, come on, he's bigger than that, isn't he? What if I got a call? One. I don't even remember. I mean, that just looks like such a good fish in the water. And then I weigh them, and they're they barely weigh anything. Look at that guy. Come on. Come on, pal. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be more than what am I trying to call? I'm trying to call one three. <laughs> Is he bigger than one three? Oh, geez, you know what? Maybe it's these glasses. I I forgot I'm wearing these glasses. I'll bet you. It's, I'll bet you it's the glasses. These are, um, I gotta take my glasses off. Hang on, buddy. One seven, one seven. One pound, seven ounces. Okay, one seven, we're, we're creeping up. I got a half an hour left. That's my, oh no, that's, uh, Let's see, one seven. I got a one six. So I gotta try to cull a one six here in the last half hour. Okay, I'm going home a little early. I'm having problems with my uh, my uh, my starter battery. It's either the alternator or the battery, I'm not sure which, but I, I gotta get back to that ramp because uh, it's a little dicey. So I ended up with, uh, let's see, uh, one, Two, three, four, seven, seven, eight, seven, fourteen, eight, two, eight, six, eight pounds, fourteen ounces. Uh, I mean, that one good fish kind of salvaged things. 
because otherwise it, it wouldn't have been worth fighting this wind today. Like right now it's not bad. It, it came and went during the day, but when it blew, it blew hard. Um, so that's it for Montana. I'm done fish. This was my last time in Montana. And uh, I got to get the boat fixed. I got to figure out what's wrong with it. And uh, I'm going to do probably one more road trip before the season's over. So, okay. That's it for this one. See you later.